Let's balance the equation for KNO3 plus H2CO3 yields K2CO3 in HNO3. I would expect probably that the reaction would be going this way, but someone asked me to balance this, so let's give it a try. We'll use a bit of a trick here to make this easier. So let's start out by just counting the atoms up. We have one of these potassium atoms, and then NO3, this is the nitrate ion. You see it on both sides, it's a polyatomic ion. We're going to count it as just one thing. So we have one nitrate ion. Hydrogens, we have two, and then this CO3, this is the carbonate polyatomic ion. We have it on both sides. We're going to count it as one thing. So we have one of these carbonate ions. And you can see this makes this a lot neater, makes it faster. You'll get the same answer in the end, it's just this is quicker. So two potassiums here, we have just the one nitrate, one hydrogen, and then the carbonate, one of those. So it makes it a lot easier to see what we need to do. Why don't we start out by balancing the potassiums? We could put a two here, one times two, that would balance the potassiums, but now we have two times the one nitrate. So we'll have two of those. If we put a two over here on the nitric acid, one nitrate, times two, that would balance the nitrates, and then the two goes to everything. So the one hydrogen times two, that equals two, we're done. This equation is balanced. So you can see counting these polyatomic ions is one thing if you have them on both sides, that makes it a lot quicker. If you wanna know the type of reaction here, it looks like the potassium and the hydrogen, they're just switching places. So this is a double displacement reaction. That's the type of reaction. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for potassium nitrate plus carbonic acid yields potassium carbonate and nitric acid, although I think the reaction would probably go this way. Thanks for watching.